As we come to your throne this morning, we will give you our best praise, not only for the great things that you've done, but for who you are, for your goodness, for your greatness, for your faithfulness, for your strength, for your mercy, for your love. We bless you. Let's give the Lord a, a shout of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus, we lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up. Everything. 
spontaneous praise from your heart start us. So let's just release that. It's been boiling up inside us. For the good things that He's done, for who He has been, who has He been in our lives. We lift you up today. We lift you up today, Lord. We lift you up today without yes, prayer.
Deserve the praise. 
It says, this side of eternity right now is our only chance to worship Jesus through tears, pain, and suffering. This side of eternity is our only chance to actively choose to worship Jesus. Because in heaven, we will have all the tears wiped away and we will freely see the beauty of Jesus. So we will naturally worship him. What a gift it is to be able to choose Jesus even when we feel what we feel. And I thought that was so beautiful because every single day of our lives, we can make a choice to choose Jesus. And forget, not necessarily forget, but put away the things that have been distracting us, that have been um, tearing at us, that have been lying to us. We have a choice to put those things away and say, Jesus, you're still worthy of my song, of my praise. And you can do more than enough, more than I can even imagine. So this morning as we're worshiping and singing about how worthy it is, think about that. Like, I get to choose to worship him this morning. I get, to, I get to bask in the presence of God even while I'm still mortal and here, right? And why don't, why don't we just give him everything this morning? Because he's so worthy. He's so much bigger than the things that have distracted you or tear, tore at you, right? And if you just focus on the beauty of who he is, it begins to seep into every single aspect of your life. As your glory fills this place, you alone deserve our praise. You're the name above all names. Be exalted now in the heavens. As your glory fills this place, you alone deserve our praise. You're the name above all names. Be exalted now in the heavens. As your glory. Jesus. 
exalted. So be exalted now in the heavens as your glory fills this place. You alone deserve our praise. You're the name of all that. So be exalted now in the heavens as your glory fills this place. You alone deserve our praise. from your decision to worship in this morning. Why don't we just worship him for a few minutes? Just raise your hands to the heaven and just speak to him. Come on, tell him you, you love him so much. He's been listening. He's ready to listen to you. Come on, we love you, Jesus. Come on, begin to tell him your hearts. From your hearts, come on, he's listening. Your father is listening. That's the highest worship. Pour out your heart to him. He's listening, come on. Between you and God right now, between you and God, your worship is a fragrance into His nose. Oh, we worship you, God. We choose to love you this morning. You are worthy. You are worthy. Come on. You are worthy. Come on. He receive our worship. Receive our worship. Receive our worship. Receive our adoration. This is all for you. This is not for a show. This is for you. This is our hearts. This is our heart. Yours is the 
worship the Lord, huh? So good. You know, we are so blessed that we were able to do this on Sunday morning and just give our heart to the Lord. Amen? Heart to heart and worship before God. At this moment, we're going to worship God through our covenant meal. So if you can turn on the lights, make sure you have your elements. Anybody, if you need some elements, we're going to do communion in a minute. Just raise your hands if you need some elements. And we will give it to you, ushers. Now, I want you, if you have the elements, gather your group. And I want you, okay, let's all gather your group. And we will do communion in the altar, okay? Let's do that in the altar. If you have your group, I want you to come in the altar together with your group. Let's just do this meaningfully. If you gather your, your network or your friends, come on. There's something about coming to the altar. Something about coming to the altar, bringing our, our hearts to the altar. So if you can come as a family, as a friends, come to the altar. And we will do this so beautiful. Come on, come, come, come. Come to the altar. Something good's going to happen. Something good's going to happen. Amen. Yes, come, 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 come. Let's do this. Let's do this to the altar of the Lord. The altar of the Lord symbolizes the presence of God. Amen. Thank you, Bert. Wow. If you can just compress, can you move forward more so we can accommodate something about coming to the altar? We haven't done that so long. Come, come. If you can just move, squeeze around. And this is so powerful. And some of us, we do this every once a month. But I believe, do you know that communion is endorsed by God? Jesus endorsed this. And He said, always remember this. Always do this. Why? Why we want to do this? Because there's power. Okay, so let me read in the scripture, okay? You guys are so beautiful together in your family. Doing all communion together. I don't know, the Lord loves to eat, isn't it? I, lo I, I love to eat. I love covenant meal. He loves to eat. So I don't know why He made this for us, the Holy Communion. And this is so powerful. In 1 Corinthians 11, 23 said, On the night when He was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. And He broke it into pieces and said, This is my body which is given to you, do this in remembrance of me. From the vocal course of Jesus, he said, this is my bread that is given to you. This is my body that is given to you, Gabe. This is my body that's given to you, Danaina. It's so personal that he is willing to give his life to you on the cross. He loves you, man. He loves you so much. Love you, Rafi. Love you so much. That's why he wants you to remember this. He rem that to remember that he gave his life for you. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. So when you do this, when you take this, something take place. Do you believe that? Some miracles can happen if you believe. 
if you're sick in your body, there's a miracle. The Bible says, by His stripes, we are healed. So when you partake this, it's something about our GI tract. The GI tract is the center of all healing. It's proven. It's all the probiotics and all those things happening there. Because when something contacts in our GI tract, it distributes the whole rest of the body. And I believe God pertaining this, this is more than vitamin. This is more than chemotherapy. This is more than whatever it is. This is the best hormones ever. The best medication, whatever. Best from, for depression, for everything that is abnormal with your body. So if whatever you have in your body that is abnormal, we believe today we will declare healing. Amen? Any diabetes, high blood pressure, any kind of COPD, be gone in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Do you believe that? Or are we just going to make it this uh, normal thing? No, this is not about normal thing. This is powerful. So when you take this, imagine all the blessings the Lord is about to do in your life. Amen? So let's raise the bread. And I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to thank Him. And tell Him what you want about this, this bread, about His body. A replacement for your healing, for your victory, whatever it is. A replacement from depression, from every work of the enemy, any suicide thoughts. Replacement for that. From every dead things in your body will come alive in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for healing. In Jesus' name, amen. Take it. In the same way, he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, This is the cup of a new covenant. The old covenant, you, may, you need to make yourself clean. You need to do all the sacrifices. You need to do all these things in order to be accepted. Jesus accepted you in the cross. He made you righteous. But Pastor Bob, I made sin last night. No. When you have Jesus, you're righteous. It's not based on your, what you have done. It's based on what the Lord has done on the cross. This is in a new covenant between God and His people. Between God and His people. So when the enemy will come to you, hey, you are nothing. No, you can say, I have a new covenant with God. Me and God, not you, devil. He said, here, me and God. So you have a covenant with God. You can claim whatever you can claim for Jesus. You have the victory, amen? Okay, so he said here, the, the, cup, the new covenant between God and His people, an agreement. <laughs> an agreement confirmed with my blood. This, this to remember of me. And when you drink it, always remember me. So as we drink this juice, Let's remember all the blood that's been shed on the cross. Their Bible says there's life in the blood. Whatever dead life, dead things in your life, come alive. Any, any passion, any, any, any discouragement, any dead things come alive. Every relationship that is dead come alive in this moment. Because the Bible said so. So are you ready? Raise the grape juice. And I want you... Close your eyes and begin to thank Him about the blood of Jesus. Who what represent for your healing, for righteousness, for a new covenant. Lord, thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for the blood that was shed. As our sinners like scarlet, you make it snow. We're righteous in your heart, in your sight. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Partake it. Now, I want you, if you're here in your family, I want you to pray together. Can we do that? Just a little few minutes, your friends. Come to pray one another. Let's just make this a moment of prayer. Just 
leaders begin to pray for one another or new people. Yeah, just as a group, as a group, come on. Just release a blessing of your family. This is so powerful. Yes. Begin to pray for one another. Begin to pray for one another. Release the blessing of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Coaches, small group leaders, begin to operate right now. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you. We worship you. We thank you for your blood. We thank you for your blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for our families. Bless his families. This is so good. This is so good. We speak victory. We speak healing. Oh, thank you, Lord God, for this prayer. Oh, declare the power of the Lord. Thank you for the presence of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're good. You're good. Thank you, Jesus. He's good. He's good. He's good. And if you're done with your group, you can go back to your chairs.